people are moved by aesthetics and beautiful things, and that is how we are wired. Ultimately, that can be showcased in so many ways. This wasn't going to just be a car driving around. I wanted to push the car and I wanted to push the tire to its limits. The best test for it is kind of letting us unleash on, on a blank canvas, which is essentially the road. You know, every turn, every corner, every movement, all of that data is actually being collected. And that's what's actually generating the artwork that you're about to see. We looked at a lot of technologies of how to pull this off. But we're most excited about spatial AI and the way that it kind of simplified the data, the data collection process gave a much more, a much more like truer feeling of the drive and how the driver feels on the tires. The first thing what we did was like, okay, let's plan the route for the driver. We have to plan roughly what are the forms and what are the lines and what are we looking for. I think when you see the artwork, you can actually feel like you're experiencing the drive and you can feel the you can feel the data kind of like emanating from the drive. So the Bridgestone experiment has an element to it. When the car is driving on the test track, it's going to be streamed into the art gallery. We would be bringing the best features in an instance right to a certain audience group that could actually see the performance. The tires have to be able to perform. For this experimentation, my paintbrush was literally the tires. So I, I used that to actually mark on, on the canvas. Once you have a sketch, narrow down, then we can discuss and build on it. We did about a series of four sets of drawings for the stunt driver to perform. When it came to the artwork, Speed was like straight, swift lines. Grip was consistent curve. Control, a fluid line motion. And precision, it's about maximum control at an instant. The tire has its own artistic persona. Fast is impressive and exciting. But when you couple it with precision, it's beautiful.